just doing a little checking over there to make sure my camera is still recording and it still is. Uh -huh. So from now on, uh, when I do my Formula 1 2019 career mode videos, I'll be just be doing it in one part now, and no more of this two part or three part. I could have thought of this uh, during season one. I could have thought of doing that since day one, but I wasn't thinking straight that using my phone and everything, but I think it's better off to use a camcorder, but now the one thing is, let's see if it works going into my laptop. Uh, I never thought I was going to leave this thing in my home soil here at the uh, U.S. Grand Prix at the Sergeant Americanas. Seven laps to go, seven to go until the 20 time world champion. Well, the chassis setup has really been working very well here at the Circuit de Americanas. a nice move in the safety car period going to the pits right away and not losing positions because if I lost positions right there during the restart of this race then uh, I would have been dropping back and look at Lucas Weaver right there he's running in P5 right now I think he's running behind uh, Devin Butler I think he's running in P4 right now he's running right behind the, uh, the lap car of Devin Butler we have six cars on the lead lap and I think Boltas is running in P5. Uh, but I think it's going to be too late for Weaver to, to get by me.
And I still need to be careful as well to not exceed one more track limit, or otherwise I'm going to have that three second penalty. And Lucas Weaver is flying out there. He had just got by the last car of uh, Devin Butler. He's running in P8 right now. But it's going to be too little too late, and Lucas Weaver just got around uh, Sergio Perez, and Lucas Weaver is now back up in the third. So Lucas Weaver is about, let's see, 18, so he's about 24 seconds behind me. Well, I don't think he isn't going to catch me uh, <laughs> within uh, four lap, five laps to go. And the two McLaren teammates are second and third right now, and Weaver is uh, gaining on his teammate Nico Hulkenberg for P2. He's now 23 seconds behind. Well, I'm just racing comfortably because I'm now five laps away of becoming a 20-time Formula One world champion. I have had a tremendous season. It could be my 14th win of the season, and uh, I think it's going to be my 392nd uh, or 393rd career victory. I'm going to check. something Nico Hogerberg would stay in P2 because Lucas Weaver is coming after him. And I have about three laps away of winning my 20th World Championship. Who would ever have thought I would win a World Championship here in my home soil track at the U.S. Grand Prix? Remember, this track is in the Circuit of the Americanas in Austin, Texas. here because uh, we're three laps away. 
couldn't believe I could win 20 championships. And you know, my AL is 80. And that was a great strategy right there. Just staying with the mediums and not going with the uh, weaker soft tires. Well, Lucas Weaver uh, recovered to go to P3 spot, passing around the Haas cars. We're going to be even better than the Haas cars when we change our developments. Hokerberg needs to hold on to that P2 spot because here comes Weaver, 2.5 seconds ahead. 2.5 seconds behind Hulkenberg for the P2 position, and we have two laps to go. And Weaker and Lucas Weaver is running out of time, and it looks like he is not going to be a world champion. It is going to be the Japanator. And not in my house, not in my home soil. I thought Weaver was going to win this race, but it looks like his uh, engine was a lot weaker. It was maybe 10 times more weaker than mine. My, my engine is fresh. You see it's at 37%. And it's still got uh, good lights in him uh, for the Brazilian Grand Prix and, the, uh, and also the uh, Abu Dhabi. Next time around will be the white flag of this race. One more lap away of becoming a 20-time Formula One World Championship. And this will be my, I think they're going to be my 14th win of the season. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. I won the Russian Grand Prix. And here's the final lap of this race. That was my 11th. Then I didn't, didn't know I was going to be, be able to win the Japanese Grand Prix. Did a good job there. Then I managed the strategy in the Mexican Grand Prix, my 13th win. So this is going to be my 14th win of the season and 20-time Formula One World Champion. It will be my 392nd career victory. So I got the calculations right. Now going into this uh, final left turn and then the final time going into the long straightaway. Let's see if Weaver can try to pass Hulkenberg in the final laps of this race. Smooth speed. Now getting around the final two left corners. And here it is, my 14th win of the season, and I'm going to become a 20 time Formula One world champion. This is it. You've become the driver's world champion after that result. Wonderful job and well deserved. What a great season, a great ride, and I'm world champion. And my first for the AMG Mercedes with the powerhouse team. I am now a 20-time Formula One World Champion. Come on, make those donuts. We're making JPO donuts uh, here tonight. And there you have it. What a season. What a ride. And it was a very tough season, and I could have thought, who had ever thought the McLarens were going to be so tough this season, and everything, uh, the car went out well and everything, but I'll still record the final two races of the Formula One uh, Grand Prix, and then just let the uh, uh, McLarens do their job. Because now that I'm 20-time world champion in the last two races, I can rest easily, relax, and maybe just let the McLaren cars win the race. And there you have it. We're not going to do any winter circle today because 
my attention is just on me. I'm officially the 20th time Formula One World Champion. And now let's take a look at the driver standings. We also crown a new champion today as their lead at the top is now an insurmountable one. What a great year it's been. For and I like the most slaps as well, 26 points. Anthony, who would you pick as your driver? Nico Hulkenberg will have to be the driver today. He did an excellent job out on the track today. He played aggressively and knew exactly when to capitalise on openings throughout the race. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ants and then to another fantastic... And a good job for Valtteri Bottas. A strong show for him we'll going into P5. And we will show you the point standings and how I won the Formula 1 World Championship. And there it is, 82... 82 points ahead of Lucas Weaver. A great season for Nico Hulkenberg. He's in uh, third place, but it looks like he's going to stay that way because he's not going to move up. But he's got to uh, focus his attention now on Sergio Perez in order to lock in that third place spot. Sergio Perez was fourth, Leclerc uh, fifth. What a good rebound for him and after a slow start. He was 11th, but now he's fifth. And Max Verstappen starting to move up. Gasly goes up. What a dismal season for the racing point. Lewis Hamilton and Kevin Magnussen, they got to get their uh, developments uh, to step up. Or otherwise, Hamilton will have to move to a new team uh, for next season. So, we are now seven, but we still need the constructors' point standings. So me and Botez still have a lot of work to do in order to clinch that constructors' championship because it could go down to the wire when we go to... Uh, when we go to the Brazilian Grand Prix and the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. So we extend our lead, so we're seven ahead of the Constructors' point standings. So make sure that Botez doesn't go out of the race. And make sure I maintain my position. I guess it's a great battle for that Constructors' title. Look at that, 529, 522, and we got 36 points. So let's take a look at the highlights on my championship. Formula One race. I'm now a 20-time world champion. I'm so excited. Who ever thought I'd win so many championships like this? And my first race was in the camcorder, and uh, and it recorded all the way, and it it did a nice job. But the question is, let's see if it uploads it into my laptop. Anyway, let's go to the highlights of the championship race. And remember, the race started in heavy rain conditions. And I started from pole because Nico Hulkenberg took a 20 place grid penalty for a gearbox change. See, I took it easy out there. My car ran slower, but then I went around, then hit the brakes a little bit. A little bit of touch right into uh, Sergio Perez. And then I had some contact with, uh, with Perez and then uh, still managed to stay on P2. trying to stay at steady position in, in the rain, just uh, keeping it smooth, staying on P2, just to save my engine, just keep my composure. This was a, this was a great race, absolutely a superb championship race. And then when the sky's dry, and then you see the pass, and then you see Weaver making that unscheduled pit stop. And then there was no turning back after I led P1, and then you see the finish, 20-time world champion.
And I swerved a little bit, knowing that I won the championship. And so it was a superb, fantastic championship race. Well, let's take a look at the interview. And we're going to stay right here because we're going to see that Formula One World Championship trophy. I am absolutely thrilled. How does it feel cheering a Formula One podium with your old F2 teammate? It was amazing that out there. The car ran so well uh, out there, and, and then the tire strategy uh, went out pretty well. And then in the final 16 laps, the road to the 20 time you champion. You, didn't we? Uh, the team had faith with me, and then God is with me at all times. Dreams do come true, and everything. 20 time world champion. Conditions today. We did absolutely more improvement, more brilliant, and come rain and shine, and it helped perform the car staying on P2, kept it patient and smooth. But you know, Weaver had a great car Appreciate and everything. And thank you so much there. And there you have it for the U.S. Grand Prix 20 time Formula One world champion. My 392nd career victory. And I also have 428 career podiums. And remember, that poll will not count because, remember, Hulkenberg earned the pole position before he had his 25th grade penalty, so that was just a gifted poll. There you see my rivalries right now is now pulling ahead, and I just have two points away of beating Botas again. And then my new rivalry is Devin Butler because I didn't beat Weaver in the rivalry bonus, but... I may do it again for next season. See, I earned about 16, 43 points. And then uh, we're going to show you the trophy. And there you have it. I'm now a 20-time Formula One Drivers Championship. So that is going to wrap it up for the U.S. Grand Prix. And until then, on behalf of the Speed JPO, and thank you so much for, for watching my U.S. Grand Prix. And now, officially, the 20-time world champion. But now in the last two races, now we got to focus on getting the Constructors' Championship. You know, we'll go down to the wire in Abu Dhabi. But the next one is Brazil, so we have two more left to go. So I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your night, and we'll do the Brazilian Grand Prix tomorrow morning. And the Speed Jabo on YouTube, thank you so much for, for watching. And I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. Have a good night's sleep, everyone. Goodbye.